Hi guys, this is Ang from Amazing Websites and today we're going to look at how to customize Uthemes Warp 7 template. This is part two of a two-part series on customizing a Utheme template. What we're going to look at today is how to uh, configure the settings, how to uh, configure the modules, the menu, and also how to compress your a Warp theme template. So let's get started and we'll access the uh, template manager by going into extensions, template, oops, template manager, and then you click on the link to whatever uh, warp theme template you've downloaded. Okay, so once you open the template manager for your template, you have uh, three different options. You click on the options menu. This is where we'll be working most uh, on our uh, customization. There are a few uh, several menus that you'll be working with. There's settings, layouts, modules, and menus. This is where you'll do the bulk of your customization. So let's get started. The first thing that we want to do is customize the current style, the look and feel of our template. So we do that by clicking on Customizer under Styles. Once the customizer opens, you can go ahead and make changes to the style of the layout. Uh, for example, you can change the background, the uh, topography colors, the fonts, the navigation buttons, and uh, their look. Any changes that you make here will be reflected in this preview area. One thing that I like to point out is that every U-theme style has different settings. Uh, so these settings may look different if you had a different template. Now before I go ahead and start making changes, one of the things that I like to do is go through and preview the different styles. And I can do that by clicking the drop down button and selecting something that I like, such as orange, or um, blue, or whatever else. I can look at the preview area and see if this is the style that I like and if it fits my project design. So if I like it, I can go ahead and just make further customizations down here. But for now, what I'm going to do is stick with the default settings. The first thing that you need to do once you pick a style is to go ahead and make a copy of it. As you can see in the drop down menu, I've already made a copy. Um, um, so the way that you make a copy is pick the uh, design that you like, click on copy, give it a name. So in this case, I might call it uh, demo. Click on OK, and there's the copy of your style. Now this particular theme has its own folder, so any changes that I make to the background or the font, uh, that all of those changes will, re will be saved within that demo folder. OK, so let's go ahead and make a, a few changes. I might just change the background to a different color. I'll make it a black color for the background. You can also click Reset, and what that does is it resets any changes that you've made uh, back to the original setting. So I'll click on Choose, and as you can see, the changes are reflected in the uh, preview area. Let's go ahead and change the uh, container width to, let's say, 2,000 pixels, and I'll also change the font, the body font, and the heading font. I'll change it to Ubuntu. Okay, so once I'm happy with the changes, I go ahead and click Save. And my files are compiled, and my settings should have changed. Once you create your style, what you need to do now is apply the uh, new settings to uh, the default setting. So currently, we have our style uh, set at the default settings, and the layout, uh, this area is where you can apply the different uh, style settings to the uh, different layout. So let's say default, I'll change that to our uh, demo style, which is the one that we just created. Click on the change it to demo style, 
and we'll save that. Now we change the front page style, and again we change that to uh, oops, change. Click on front page, and again we change our style to demo. Click on save, and we'll do the same for our content box. Content box. Click on demo, and click on save. So once the new style has been applied, we can go ahead and refresh our front page and see the uh, new settings. And that's our new uh, style setting. Okay, I'm going to go back to the uh, settings area, and there's just a few more things that i like to point out before we uh, go on. First of all, i like to point out that you can, one thing that you can do after you finish uh, creating your style is you can uh, compress your file and minify the CSS and JavaScript. And you can do that by going into compression, and uh, selecting uh, minify data, URIs, and GZIP. The other thing that you can do as well is to um, click on the hide warp branding, and what that does, it hides the, um, the warp uh, theme framework um, branding. The social buttons, if you want that to show up, you can click on these, and what that does is it shows a um, uh, Twitter or Google Plus or Facebook um, social media button underneath your article. The other thing uh, you might want to look at too is your uh, module styles. Here you can choose the uh, default module styles, either the box, the secondary, um, blank. And one last thing that you might want to look into as well is the additional script section. This is where you can put your Google Analytics script and that will uh, keep track of uh, the traffic going to your website. So that's our uh, settings area. I'm now going to go ahead and save the changes to our settings and we'll have a preview of what we've done. So I click on save and once the changes have been saved we'll go to the front. Okay, once, once we've refreshed our website as you can see the changes have taken place. We've got our black background and if I go to an article I can see that uh, Warp has um, added the additional tweet Google Plus and the Facebook icons. The other thing that you can do is to change the look and feel of your modules. I'm using the demo website at the moment, but if you go into features and layouts, you'll come to this page. On this page, you can change the look and feel of your modules. You can change it to a different color, you can add badges, and you can also add icons and you can do a whole lot more. And the way to do that is to go into the modules area. As you can see in the modules area, I can add a class to the module, I can style it, I can also change the icon or I can add an additional icon. And I can also add a badge, success, warning, and danger badge. And I can also add a message for each badge. So I might say, welcome to Joomla. If I save that setting, and if I go to my template, I should be able to see those settings reflected within my template. I don't have that open at the moment, but if I were to make those changes on my uh, modules, I will see the icons and I will see the badges and the different messages that I wrote. Okay, let's go back and look at the other sections of the uh, warp theme template. The last part of the warp theme template that we're going to look at is the menu area. Within the menu area, you can have additional columns, you can change the width of the columns, you can add additional UI kit, you can add a subtitle to your menu. Well, that's the end of our preview of how to customize the Utheme framework. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to answer your questions. See you in the next tutorial.